Hello and welcome to First Look, I'm Young John. What we have here is the Go-Go Bird by Zing. This is kind of like a hybrid flyer, uh, not exactly a drone, but a nice introduction to droning if you've never flown one before. Uh, this is for ages eight and up, so we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. This is the unboxing of Zing's Go-Go Bird. You can see from the box that this version is green, but they also have a red guy too. But anyway, this is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. We pull out the green bird. So we have a quick start guide, a full user manual, and our GoGo -Go bird. Now this is made out of plastic, so be very, very careful. Uh, I would pull it out by the metal frame right below the head here, like that. They use the plastics, it's really, really light the remote control, a little screwdriver, a stand to hold your bird. So this seems to be uh, the additional battery. There we are. And I reckon this is the charger. And that's pretty much everything. You have your go-go bird, remote control, extra battery, a charger, a stand, little screwdriver, and your manuals. Now we have all of this stuff here. Now first things first, there's no instruction on how to use the stand. So I'm going to use the stand and connect, if you can see this, uh, this right underneath here. Here's the remote control. You need to install two AA batteries, but you have to use a little screwdriver that they give you to open it up. And I don't like the idea of this very much, but at least it won't fall out, the batteries I mean, you know, once you have them in there. So here we go. Uh, they don't give you batteries, so you're gonna have to find some. Battery one, battery two. And then you have to screw this back. You can see by the green blinking light here, that uh, the power is good to go. Remote is ready, now I wanna pair it with the bird. And it's very easy, you just turn it on, except the on button is very tiny. So if you look underneath here, uh, you see a little black dot. You press it once and it'll light up. So you know when it's paired when you see that green light over there. Uh, it'll turn blue when it's pairing and it'll turn green when it's connected to the remote control. Test it out by pressing this trigger. Woohoo! The remote is really simple. You start and stop with this trigger here. You press it once, press it again to stop it. And uh, this joystick here controls left and right and faster and slower. So if I was flying and I wanted to slow it down, I would do this until it stops flapping. You could do that or you can just press the button again and make it stop on its own. The other buttons are fancy schmancy stuff that does circles clockwise, counterclockwise, and figure eights, but it's something you'll do when you're outside. The one thing is you cannot control the way it goes up and down. It's pretty much level unless there's a high wind and then it can start pushing it upwards. And if it's going too high, you can stop the wings flapping and let it drop and then you can press the button again and it'll start flapping and it'll go forward. So you can have fun with that if there's a little bit of wind around. If it's too windy, you can't control it. about 10 minutes of flight, you need to change batteries. But to do that, you need your 
little screwdriver again to swap it out. So that's a little bit annoying, but anyway, this is how it's done. We'll take this guy and underneath you have a little screw here. You have to twist that and push this down like this. Take out this battery like that. Then you can stick this in, plug it in like that. Very good. Now you can screw this back in by turning it to the right. Oop, there we go. Ah. And the screw prevents the battery from falling out. So one of your batteries is dead, but you can recharge it while you're playing with your GoGo -Go Bird with the other battery by bringing along a battery bank. So this is the same thing you charge your phone with and you just stick in your battery and it'll start to charge it up. So once you're done playing with your bird and this battery dies, you can just swap batteries again. The GoGo -Go Bird has been made with safety in mind. The whole body is plastic. It's a plastic cage. The nose, the beak is even made out of like a rubber so you can kind of run into things and nothing will happen. Uh, it's also got a sensor in front of the head so that it'll avoid collision. It's got collision detection of some kind. This is kind of, you know, harmless <laughs> all around. Uh, unlike a drone, which is heavy and if it runs into a person, it'll hurt. But not this guy, this is pretty safe. And that's it for our video of the GoGo -Go Bird by Zing. This is a really nice introduction into the world of drones and flying because the controls are really simple and it's affordable. It's not like if you crash into something, you have to buy expensive parts already. If you wanna check out prices, we'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes. And if you haven't already yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look YouTube channel. We shall see you all again next time.